Hey all, my name is Paul Borowski and I am the owner of Quality Business Plan and what I'd like to do today is to give you all some tips and tricks on how to write a towing company business plan. Um, so the way this video is going to work is I'm going to go ahead and um, first give you all a little bit of background about myself and then what I'm going to do is dive into some tips and tricks about um, writing a tow towing company business plan specifically for the company description section as well as how to construct a basic um, uh, profit and loss section well specifically a basic um, financial model that's going to help you to quickly identify how, how many customers you need to service on a daily basis what's the average cost that needs to be attained from the customers and then from your um, myth, your monthly fixed costs and your variable costs you know what are your profits going to be based on these um, few variables all right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into this little handy dandy um, presentation I've got concocted for your viewing, listening, and otherwise a pleasure for this um, wonderful day. All right, so first and foremost, um, a little bit about me, and then we're going to talk about you and your towing company business plan needs. I am a professional writer, specifically a business plan writer. So if you um, try and you just uh, just don't want to enjoy the trials and tribulations and the fun and excitement of writing your own business plan, um, feel free to avoid that process by picking up the phone, give me a call, send me a text, send me an email, and I would be able to do, I would be delighted to write your business plan for you. Um, if you're almost there, you've got your business plan almost done, and you've got your financial, your pro forma financial projections almost complete, but you just need that little bit of umph, a little bit of push over the edge, uh, check me out on Amazon.com. On Amazon, I do have some books published for, um, you know, for writing business plans, as well as understanding financial projections and financial statements. And then finally, I am an adjunct professor and subject matter expert for business and finance. Um, so if you need um, need some help with your financial projections, your business plan is all done, is squared away. It's just those numbers that are giving you a problem. Again, pick up a phone, give me a call, send me a text. Um, I would be absolutely delighted to help you with your financial projections. All right, enough about me. Let's talk about your company, your towing company, <clears throat> and give you all some tips and tricks for writing your towing company business plan. All right, so for tip number one, this is focused on a company description section. So when you're writing your company description section for your towing company, you're definitely going to want to touch on the important aspects and the common aspects of a business plan in that section, which is going to be your company name, your address, your low, um, your geographic area of service, you know, where are you going to be towing, um, towing vehicles, what, what area is going to be your, um, <clears throat> your, your focus of operations. Um, but also in that section, a lot of business owners, they're going to miss, they're not going to discuss the niche services that they're going to provide. Um, some of the niche services that not all towing companies are going to provide is that you might offer local um, services. You might offer regional towing services. You can even offer nationwide towing services as well. So just keep that in mind is just because it, it might be common or, or just, um, you know, it might be common sense for you to offer all three of those services. A lot of a lot of your competitors are not going to do that. So identify, you know, some of the things you're going to be doing differently. Also, make sure to discuss or state that if you're going to be providing discounts to your um, customers, you, you might provide a um, senior discount. You might provide a you know military discount, first responder discount. If there's any discounts that you're going to be offering your customers that your competitors do not, then again, make sure you discuss that in your company description. Also, some of the things that your competitors are not going to be doing is they might not offer car storage opportunities. You know, if, if you need your, so if somebody needs a car stored for overnight until they can get it to the garage or the mechanic or um, what have you if, you, if you're able to offer that storage, not only is it an additional revenue source for you, but it's definitely a competitive advantage and a niche service that not all towing companies are going to offer. And then finally, the um you know the the big rig towing the the bus towing uh semi towing uh even heck the the um, dump truck towing so if you're if you've got the equipment and the capabilities to um you know to tow the uh, bigger um pieces of equipment then make sure to state that as well all right next thing for the com uh, company description section is going to be discuss the your business and your 
um, some structure models. And what I mean by that is if you're going to have contract with an apartment company or if you're going to have contract with a, a um, collection company you know, to repo vehicles, then make sure to discuss that as one of your um, business models is because you know, that's a strategic and it's operational model. And you definitely want to let the reader know, you know how you're going to be generating your revenues. Are you going to, have, you know, are you going to be advertising online? Is it going to be with contract with companies? It's going to be all of the above. Whatever it is, make sure you're going to be able to touch upon that. The next aspect in your business and your structure models, make sure to go ahead and address any kind of common challenges in the industry. For example, in the tow truck industry right now, there is a driver shortage. So if you have a method or a strategy or a model that's going to, um, that is specifically designed to address driver shortages, make sure to mention that as well. And then finally, discuss your competitive advantages. If you're going to be using new trucks, if you're going to be um, doing a flatbed as well as a, as a traditional tow truck, um, whatever some of your competitive advantages that you have that other, other um, tow truck companies are not doing, make sure to discuss that information in the company description section as well. All right, and then finally <clears throat> for this tip, is going to be go ahead and pepper in or go ahead and put in a little bit of industry statistics in your company description section. When you, for example, um, a little bit of research that I conducted found that the towing company right now in the U.S. is an $8.5 billion industry and the growth rate is about 1.5% annually. When you include statistics about your industry in your company description section, it's going to show first and foremost that you've done research. You, you've, done, you've dug in, you've done some research, and you, you're showing them that you, you have that knowledge. It's going to add credibility to yourself as a writer and a business owner. Also, when you put that information in there and you put a source and you put it at the bottom as a footnote where you got that information from, you're now adding credibility to the information that you're providing in relations to the statistics, but it also adds overall credibility to your business plan. You know, someone when they're reading the business plan and they see um, statistic one, and they say statistic two, they're going to say, well, if this information is right, well, then all the other information must be correct. So you're adding credibility to your business plan when you use statistics like that. Whether it's information or, um, correct or not, it, it's, it's the, besides the point, it's the perception of the reader when they're looking at your document. If they see sources in there, it adds credibility. All right. And for the next section, this section right here is for your financial projections. Um, so now, um, when you're writing a business plan, you do need to, usually you're going to need to pro forma a financial statement um, for the 12 month profit and loss statement, your income statement for five years, your balance sheet. Getting into that is going to be a little bit outside of the scope of this video. I do, I do want to keep it about 10 to 12 minutes. Um, but what I do recommend is that any business owner that's going to start or expand their trolling company have some kind of a real simple financial model that you're able to use um, and input change variables for like the customer service, average customer price, variable cost, your fixed cost. Um, have that information in there so you can really quickly um, change some of the numbers that, and have it provide you with some kind of an idea of what your net profits are going to be. If you have this financial model, I'm going to show you one just in a second. Um, if you have that model, it's going to, again, help you understand how many customers you need to service in order to achieve your, um, your, your wanted monthly profits. It's going to help you set benchmarks. If you know how many customers you need to get your profits, then you're going to say, you know what, what do I need to do to get these customers? And so now instead of focusing on, on all this you know, stuff that's going on in your business, you can kind of zero in on the important aspects such as the number of customers, the average price, and your fixed cost. Um, and then finally, it's an excellent starting point for your pro forma financial projections. If you have a basic model, you can always blow that up and expand upon that to include your monthly projections as well as your annual projections and so on. All right, so here is the model that I am alluding to. It's really quick. It took me about 10 minutes to create this model. It's got three sections. This is your revenue section. It's got your fixed cost section and then your monthly profit section. For the monthly profit section, all I do is I'm tying in your, my revenue section and I'm tying in my fixed cost section to develop my profits. So the way that I am getting my profits is I'm saying that we're going to go ahead and just use average customers. So the average towing customer that I have, you know, what is the sales price? 
How many customers do I service on average in a day? And what are my variable costs? How much does it cost me in fuel and maintenance to the few, um, to the trucks? So once you have those um, pieces of items, in this example, I'm saying that our towing company, hypothetically, services seven customers with an average sales price of 150 with a variable cost of $15. Once I have these three pieces of information, I can calculate my gross profits simply by subtracting my variable cost of $15 from my sales price of 150. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply my gross profits by the average number of customer service. When I do that, I'm going to know that my gross profits on average on a daily basis is going to be $945. I am then going to go ahead and multiply that by the number of days that I work in a week. If I'm going to be working 30 days a week, I'm sorry, th how many days I work in a month? If I'm going to be working 30 days in a month, I'm going to multiply that 945 by the 30. Next thing I need to do is come up with my fixed costs. What are my fixed costs? For this example, I'm saying that our lease is um, $550 labor $4,500, utilities $450, marketing $500, supplies $250, accounting, legal, insurance about $400, and the miscellaneous, the catch-all, is going to be $2,500. That catch-all, um, being an entrepreneur, like every, all of us knows, it's it's almost like Christmas every day. We, we're going to have a surprise, um, and it all too often it's going to cost us money. So once you identify your fixed costs, add them up and put them right here. Once we have our revenues calculated for the month and our fixed costs for the month, it's simply um, all we're going to do is we're going to deduct our profits, 28350 which is right here and right here, from our monthly fixed costs, 14100 here and here, and that gives us a net profit of $14,250. Here is the wonderful thing about this. Once we have this little model created, we can now start changing it. What if we want to go ahead and service 10 customers um, and then maybe reduce our cost to one twenty-five? What is that going to do to our net profit? So we know it's going to be 18,900 now. But let's say that our um, customers are going to drop to 500 or to five, um, but we're going to be able to charge more money. Again, once we start making these changes to these variables, we're going to be able to identify which business model or which strategy is going to make us the most money for our towing company. All right. So with that said, um, let's summarize this real quick. So in summary, uh, make sure to work with a proven format when you're doing your towing company business plan. Um, if you go to the SBA website, you can get a general towing company business, or you can get a general business plan that can be used for the towing company and a moving company and a carpet cleaning company and a tile company and a construction company and also a manufacturing company and even a captain of a ship company. Um, so there's a lot of different uses for that. And if you're going to use that kind of a template, you got to figure out what's applicable to you and what's not applicable to you. By the time you're done, you could have almost finished your business plan by using a customized template um, that is geared towards the towing industry. And I do have one of those, um, which is at qualitybusinessplan.com forward slash towing company business plan template. Um, next is going to be keep the star of the show as a business. As a towing company operator and a company business owner, um, you might be doing it for 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 years. And typically when I get a business plan from a customer um, and they want me to edit it, unfortunately, when I start reading it, it's almost like a biography for them as compared to a business plan for the company. Um, so when you're writing your business plan, make sure to keep the star of the show as a business as compared to yourself. Um, and then finally, um, contact me for help. Um, if you need some help, you finish your business plan, want it edited, you need some financial projections, or you want me to write the business plan and financial projections for you. Um, regardless, um, give me a call, pick up the phone, give me a call, send me a text, send me an email. Be delighted to help. If you do want some more information on how to write a business plan for a towing company, just go over to qualitybusinessplan.com forward slash how to write a towing company business plan. All right. So hopefully this information was helpful. If you like it, give me a thumbs up on YouTube. And as always, have a great day. Thank you.